And speaking of Tesla, should the big boss man get a raise? And by raise, we mean $56 billion. Uh, this isn't out of nowhere. This is the second time Tesla's board is asking shareholders to approve this multi-billion dollar pay package for CEO Elon Musk. And this is months after a Delaware judge threw the first proposal out, claiming the deal was deeply flawed in part because Musk, not Tesla's board, has too much say in controlling the company, including his compensation. Tesla is also looking to move the company's incorporation from Delaware to Texas. And that is a big deal since more than 60 percent of Fortune 500 companies are incorporated in Delaware. Plus, this is all coming on the heels of Tesla laying off 10% of its workforce. Wall Street Journal business columnist and author of Power Play, Tesla, Elon Musk, and the bet of the century, Tim Higgins joins us now. Tim, thanks so much for being with us. Tesla, announcing layoffs just days ago. Uh, is this just is bad timing to request giving the billionaire boss a raise, or is this, is this just how this works? It's, it's definitely a bad look, to say the least. It's probably part of something uh, broader, though, that we see going on with Tesla and Elon Musk. You have to remember, for the last few months, uh, both have been under incredible s uh, scrutiny and criticism um, for the way the performance of the company and for the suggestion that Elon Musk is distracted with all of his other endeavors, whether it's X, the social media platform, or SpaceX, or just being Elon Musk. And some investors are concerned he's not putting in the time that needs to be done. While deliveries, those sales of cars have fallen in the first quarter, uh, one of the worst quarters for the company since 2020, uh, really surprising Wall Street and really uh, increasing the uncertainty among some investors. So it's a, one of many things going on to try to right the ship. We also have Elon out there talking about Tesla's future, how he wants to have uh, robot cars and how he sees this as a robot company, not an EV company as we have known it for the last 20 years. What's with the ability of a judge to deny a pay raise like what happened in the first proposal? How, how is that possible? This, this comes out of a lawsuit that a, an investor in Tesla brought uh, about that pay package. Uh, this uh, opened it up for, for the judge to review it. She felt that uh, the board was not uh, essentially at arm's length from Elon, that Elon was in there calling the shots. You have to remember the board of Tesla has Elon's brother on it, a number of people who have close business relationships with Elon. And when you got into the records and the testimony of the case, it really looked to some people that Elon was making some of the decisions as if he was negotiating with himself. And essentially the judge said this was deeply flawed process. Now, after that, you saw Tesla, you saw Elon Musk say, hey, we're pulling out of, of Delaware uh, and there's going to be a lot of other companies that follow us. Has that happened? Well, it's not as simple as just doing that, uh, but it's definitely put a spotlight on the, the state and its role in corporate governance. Uh, clearly, Elon uh, thinks that Texas would perhaps uh, be uh, more uh, friendly to the way he likes to run things. Uh, that is yet to be determined. Uh, this new pay package is, is, is still uncertain. Uh, there's a lot of questions about it, and uh, some think that there'll probably be more litigation going forward. Uh, litigation going forward. Everything's bigger in Texas. We'll see if bonuses are as well. Thanks so much for joining us today. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.